Hello children, I hope you are taking good care of yourselves. So let's get started with our first lesson of UESST for grade 8, Land and Resources of Africa. So here we have the learning objectives. To describe the land, rivers and mountains of Africa, to explore the natural resources and physical geography of Africa, then the UA link. UA has got a long list of minerals ranging from copper, gypsum to the extraction of metals and valuable stones. You can see in the map given over here on the same slide. Then the cross curricular link. It is linked with geography as the topic deals with the natural resources of Africa. Here we have the warm-up exercise from your textbook. These are the six blocks which you are supposed to fill it in your textbook. You can go through the information which I have given over here and fill up your textbook. Started with the introduction of geography of Africa. You can see the map over here on the right corner. This is the map of Africa giving you information about how this huge big continent has been divided into so many countries and the capitals. You can see the capitals also very clearly. Then besides that you can also see the oceans and the sea which are surrounding it. On the top you can see Mediterranean Sea. Then in the eastern side, you can see the Indian Ocean, whereas on the western side, the Atlantic Ocean. Now, Africa is joined by an uh, by a Asian continent with the help of the Swiss Canal. The Swiss Canal, you can see below in the picture, it connects the Red Sea along the north east coast of Egypt and Sudan. It was built in the 19th century to allow the ships to pass from Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea and then into the Indian Ocean. So a canal is always useful in connecting two large water bodies. So over here two large water bodies are the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea which is joined with the help of the Swiss Canal. So it is still dead children helping the cargo ships to move on very smoothly from these two seas to and fro. The deserts of Africa. Let us see. There are two major deserts of Africa. One is the Sahara Desert which you can see it in the map. And the other one is the Kalahari Desert. You can see the location of it very clearly over here in the map. So in South Africa, you will find the Kalahari Desert. Whereas the northern region of Africa has got the Sahara Desert. Now the Sahara Desert is said to be the world's largest desert. So huge in size that it is 4,800 kilometers large. And from the coast of the Western Sahara to the Nile River Valley in Egypt. You can see both the things over here. You can see the Nile River. When you see the Sahara Desert, there you can find the Nile River. And when you see the Western side, then obviously it is the uh, Western Sahara region near from the Atlantic Ocean. Next is, and it is so large that the entire countries of China or that of United States of America would easily fit into the boundaries of it. So you can understand the vastness of this desert. Whereas the Kalahari Desert, as you can see the size over here in the map, it clearly shows it is not that big, not that large. Now just below the Sahara Desert, you will find the grasslands known as the Savannah grasslands. And as the name suggests, 
there are various huge tall grasses of 6 6 feet uh, more than 6 6 feet have grown over there found over there and since you find lots and lots of grass obviously you will find many animals and especially the animals which uh, feed on grass like you have um, uh, the elephants the zebras and so on timbuktu and jenny are located in the sahel so these are the two important cities of africa so which are in this region of sahel then comes the western region of africa now as you can see in the picture so it is a coastal region the west african coast is divided amongst various countries that were formerly colonized by french and the british so this beautiful region of western africa was taken over at one time in the past by the french and the british dividing the territories amongst themselves nigeria is rich in oil resources and is a major exporter of petroleum products we have one lesson completely on nigeria so you can understand the importance of this country in the african continent lagos is a port city and it is the capital of nigeria now the rift valley you can see in the map which has been provided over here how huge it is running how long it is rather okay so let's see the rift valley of eastern africa was created by plate tectonics so there are various movements which happen at the surface of our earth so when certain things happen at the surface of our earth those movements lead to certain kinds of uh, change in the landforms which we can see it, it is very visible so one such change in the landform is the rift valley the name itself gives you an idea that something which has split okay so the movement of the earth over millions of years ago has caused a split and this split on the earth's crust now as you all know that our earth the interiors of the earth has been divided into three major things one is the surface on which we are residing which runs to a considerable uh, depth after the uh, surface that is the crust region then comes the mantle and after the mantle then you have the outer core and then you have the inner core so this is what is the interior of our earth about so we are residing on the crust region which is the topmost region when there are certain movements which happen in the crust region underneath below so obviously that leads to certain kinds of change in the landforms as i have told you so the split has caused changes in the landform which is still visible which is still seen in this region of africa now this rift it runs about 7000 kilometers right from the region of jordan and red sea in the northern region through east africa and down to the central region of africa which is the region of mozambique now the split in the rock formations revealed layers which one can see so there are various layers or strata in other words and these are formed in those rock the geological rocks have those layers and strata in them and that dates back to hundreds of thousands and millions of years ago this is not something which has happened recently but it is said to be very very old and how did the geologists and the anthropologists come to know about it they found some remains some ancient human remains in this rift valley so the geologists who study the surface of our earth anthropologists anthropologists they study the human remains and the ancient remains so when they studied they came to know that it dates back to thousands and millions of years old 
and this was found in Olduvai uh, Gorge in Tanzania and in Lake Turkana in Kenya. Here we have the warm-up exercise from your textbook. These are the six blocks which you are supposed to fill it in your textbook. You can go through the information which I have given over here and fill up your textbook. Which deals with the Rift Valley. You can see how beautiful the Rift Valley is with so much of rich uh, wildlife. And uh, you can also see the different kinds of birds and mammals. And uh, you can see in the map the Great Rift Valley and how huge it runs. Then uh, there are the names of the countries uh, that has the Rift Valley running through. So I can see over here eight names. So please write down these eight countries in your textbook. The deserts of Africa. Let us see. There are two major deserts of Africa. One is the Sahara Desert, which you can see it in the map. And the other one is the Kalahari Desert. You can see the location of it very clearly over here in the map. So in South Africa, you will find the Kalahari Desert, whereas the northern region of Africa has got the Sahara Desert. Now, the Sahara Desert is said to be the world's largest than the fields with the farmlands. How huge! There are around 600 million hectares of uncultivable arable land, roughly 60 percentage of it. Okay. Then um, the next is the flat plain and how this flat plain is helpful in setting up a, of a beautiful city. You can see one of the beautiful cities of Africa over here and how the flat plain has helped in building of uh, the um, roads and the buildings and the hospitals, the schools, the administrative uh, buildings. Then we have got um, the railway lines, the airports, the ports. All that is possible when we have the flat plains. Then uh, cent Central Africa and South Africa. Let us see that. Just a small little piece of information they have given us with regards to both uh, parts of Africa. Central Africa is dominated by the Congo Basin. In it uh, are tropical rainforests, which you can see the pick one, the top pick. So that is giving you information about it, giving you a glimpse about how this rainforests are. So they are uh, around the ear uh, green. They are thick uh, in vegetation and you will find tall trees growing in the rainforest region uh, with the help of this Congo River. The Zaire River, also known as the Congo River. So don't get uh, confused with Congo and Zaire. They are two rivers. No, they are not two rivers, but it is the name of the same river. And this area is said to be rich in minerals and in rare metals. Then when we come to South Africa, over here, the Congo River, the Katanga Plateau, and the Kalahari Desert. So these are the three landforms which have separated South Africa with Central Africa. And this region is rich in agriculture. They are also rich in minerals, like uh, the precious minerals like gold and diamond mines. Now you can see the second picture over here, which is of the mines, how they have cut the crust region so that they can extract this precious metal and then the last photograph which you can see is the uh, gold metal which you can see here they have uh, given you fill ups I have filled in you can go through then comes activity 6 in activity 6 there is a question with some piece of information so I have written down the answer. I hope the answer is relevant to the 
question if you are not that happy with the answer then you can fill in uh, by going on the google and getting some more information come to the end of my video i hope you liked my video i hope it was easy and beneficial for you to understand the lesson with its activity well as i have used the maps the pictures and thorough information with the explanation being provided to you so if you have really liked my lesson then please give me a thumbs up share it with your friends please don't forget to press the bell icon and if you haven't subscribed children then please see to it that you subscribe my channel and see you next time with my some new videos especially from lesson 2 of your book 1 uesst till then bye bye take care